I am your host, Flame Monroe, along with my partner, Lauren Hogan, and my other partner, Nick Smith News, who's going to come be joining us via, via Zoom in a second. But today <laughs> is a very special day because it's hot, first of all. Mm-hmm. I celebrated a second graduation today. My my 14-year-old graduated eighth grade today. She's going to high school. Two yes, down, indeed. one to go. I can't go to the one tomorrow. I'll, I'll get y'all that dirt later. She's talking plenty of shit, too. Uh, <laughs> And we have our very first in-studio guest since we have started Laugh and Learn, November the 14th. This is show, what, 30, 31? 31. Show 31. Our very, because of coronavirus, we have the one, the very infamous and very famous and very ready for y'all today, honey. The one she and only ready. Tasha K. <laughs> she ready. She ready. <laughs> it's Latasha today. Oh, yeah. It's Latasha. Latasha, Latasha Transrena Howard. Today. Yes, tra- <laughs> okay. Transrena. See, I'm so glad I my love husband it. married me and came in last year. You know, Tina Turner was like, I'm taking my name. Absolutely. If my husband leave, I'm taking my name, take everything, I'm leaving my name. <laughs> leave the name. Let me tell you how he landed. I'm so happy to have you here, Tasha, Thank in you. studio. I'm because we did an interview here. a couple of weeks ago. It was very good. We got yeah. a lot of traction. It, was. it showed a great side of you that people were not expecting. They thought we was going to get on there. I Cut up and clown and but we need to do that though. And we might do that we today because to we're right yeah, in the we same need to do that. space. We need to do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How was your week, Lauren? My week was good. Can't really complain. You know, travel's picking up again. I gotta go to Atlanta oh, this you week. Be in the a. Yeah, I'm you coming to the A again. To oh, I have a hotel, but thank you. Oh, okay. Are I mean, you offering? Yeah. Oh, oh that, that's that's good house. to know. Thank you. Okay. Thank your you. makeup was flawless, by the way. Oh, thank. So was yes. yours. Oh, thank. Listen, we were talking about it. Let me find my makeup yes, artist. Please. I need to show her out. I think it's Makeup Me Passion. Okay. Make up me passion. She's out of LA. She's Nigerian. She's absolutely gorgeous. And she, she did a great job. Color Indeed. theory on mm-hmm. dark skin women. That's what uh, I love. Be- that, that is beautiful. And, that is, and your yes. foundation is perfect. It's flawless. Because yeah. you know, sometimes yeah. you see a darker girl and she got the, the k- k- call me ghost face. She looks like a ghost face killer, but the <laughs> neck be all dark and then she put the hands up, look like the bitch got I mean, all over. I be fussing at my aunties because you know they're African. They be like that. They be, it, it's really, it's really all they have available over there. So they give them lighter foundations, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? They haven't, you know, I'm like, Rihanna, please put your, put Fenty Beauty in Molly. Please, Rihanna. Yes, yes. We need some darker shades. That's shape. what I'm I got on my face. I'm tired of my aunties. Like, they face me like your color and my body. You know, they body my color. <laughs> Rihanna, you need to call Tasha. Tasha could be a spokesman right? for the darker you women. We and she on a diet and all that dumb shit. That diet going out the window today because I'm about to barbecue my ass. Oh my, my God, ass. I ain't eat no you carbs. No carbs, no carbs. But I'm trying to get my hip, hip stick like, uh, you know, he, she, we. Look, look, look. That's called good EBT, baby. Good EBT. (laughs) (laughs) This was a great week. I'm so glad you're here. Now, why are you doing in California? Are you vacationing? You working? I, I came to get fucked up. Oh, oh, that's a beautiful thing. I can listen. Listen, I cut it off yesterday at 6 p.m. The dispensaries. We had the party bus with the Casamigos in front of the dispensary. Oh, I'm telling y'all had a you. Fun day. What y'all do on that bus? Man, at, listen, what happened? It wasn't no cameras. <laughs> the show wasn't y'all no motherfucking cameras. Uh, Mr. Howard. Listen. Mr. Howard. And wife was on her best behavior. Listen. You know, we got to say that public, girl. He know, he know his wife. <laughs> Shit, that's why he married my ass. Oh. <laughs> Look, Latasha in public. Tasha K. Transrena. I love that. Transrena. Transrena. You know what it means? If you, uh, tr- I, I uh, got... Transfer, transgender, transsexual, <laughs> transgender, trans what? Transphobic what? Tran- trans transcommunication. Trans- everybody was calling me Transformer coming up. Because my, my name was Latasha Transrena Howard. So they would call me Transformer or uh, Howard the Duck. And I'd be like, ooh, I hate Howard the name. Duck? Yeah, Where did that come from? Because my last name was Howard. Before but the I got duck? Married. Yeah. So I was just like, oh, it's all good. But my grandmother named me Transrena because it means the transfer of joy. Mm. Wow. Not, yeah. like that. not so. like my, my trans Rena. I mean, <laughs> absolutely did. I'm gonna transfer something to your ass, all right, but it definitely ain't gonna be joy. Gonna, well, it will be, be eventually, good. but it starts off painful. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, yeah, that's that's where I got the name. Well, from. I am so glad to have you here. We have to introduce you. you to our partner, Lauren. Bring that yes, in. I so hey, meet our partner. partner. He better be suited and booted today because I gave you a pass last week. Ooh. Listen, I like the uh, casual look we had uh-huh. last yeah. Monday. Uh, we can't let niggas I get too casual. It. I brought some rosé for Flame. He, she, he, she, we ain't drinking. I'll drink some. Drinker. I'm drinking my own. I'll drink some. It's okay. I'll drink some. Okay. Can you move your 
your mic a little bit closer okay. to your mouth. Okay. Uh, all right, got it. Right here. Is this okay? Hi, Nick. Yes. Okay. Hey, Nick. Hello, how are hello. you? Does it extend? I'm doing well. Hey, you know what, no, Flame? You gave smart. me a pass okay, last sure. week. You okay. knew I had to step it up for Tasha. So you know that. You right? got on a suit for me, baby. I see <laughs> that bald <laughs> head. I see that beard and shit. You know what I like. <laughs> how you doing? What's your name? Uh, I'm, I'm Nick. I am part of the team. Lauren and I try to do our best oh, to fuck contain all that. You marry Nick? Awesome, so. oh, no, I'm not married. No, no, I'm not. I'm, not. I'm, I'm working on it, though. You working on it? on it? Ladies? I'm working on it. Ladies? I'm working on it. So, mm -hmm. yes. He's open. Nick, you got a new chair today, too. What's up with that? You uh, again, Lauren, new office it's the Tasha decor? effect. Oh, okay, it's the Tasha effect. Okay, because okay, I'm like, there's some new everything. stuff I'm seeing. The green screen didn't even, you know, steamed and everything else. It looks very professional. <laughs> right. Very you're professional. Like, you didn't iron the curtain yeah, and everything. Yeah, you got so all cute for Tasha. Okay. It's okay, Nick. I got on a new outfit. It's from Shein. It's $13. <laughs> Okay. Hey, I, she is $13. I wanna, Listen. I want to make sure we go ahead and get things going. But Tasha, I just want to extend once again a great welcome to you. Thank I you. thought the uh, the moment you had with Flame last uh, last month was just fantastic. Uh, it was just a great interview. So we are super excited to have you joining us today. Thank so you. thank you. I am honored to be in the presence of a legend. A motherfucking legend. Oh! <laughs> mm. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Nick. Okay, I can see my face on your head. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's good. Look, that's good. she can see it on there, and she can see it on there. <laughs> well, let's officially jump into the show and let's, let's get it. started. Let's get it. So, Miss Tasha K, you uh -huh. had a very interesting interview a couple uh -huh. of weeks ago okay. with uh, Miss Angela Stanton's daughter. We got to yes. talk about it. Javian, Javian, yes. we got to talk about it. So it's how su surprising enough? Go ahead, go ahead. I'm no, so no, 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 no. Get into it. No, I'm just saying surprising enough. I don't fuck with Angela like that. Right. Oh. Okay. But when I saw Angela on that trash ass platform, no shade. Uh -uh. Um, <laughs> Look. <I> watch this. <laughs> all shade. <laughs> when I saw, I was just like, I, I felt her mm -hmm. as a mother. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Now, nor do I condone disrespect, but people have to understand when you're a mother and you have teenage kids, they try, they take you to another space. Mm -hmm. And I think there wasn't grace for her in that situation. And people, it, it is, it's hard for people to understand, like, this is, a, this is a person she's been raising. This is the person that she loves. And so... I understand JB and JB wants to be JB's mm -hmm. and that is okay. Like that is your God given right. But I just think when it comes time to a mom being able to transition with you, because that is a transition process, mm -hmm. I think there should have been just a little bit more grace. And I mean, her criminal record has nothing to do with her being a mom because we've seen like correction facilities now are allowing the mothers with their babies in prison. So that means nothing. Okay. Cause you're still a mom, but I, I, and that's, I wanted to talk to, to, the reason I asked JB's to come on is because I wanted to see if I could offer that, you know, that I guess that idea mm -hmm. for her to just give your mom just a little time, mm -hmm. just a little time. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I yeah. hear you. I, I hear you. you. Honey, when I tell you, I watched that interview and as a trans woman, I used to be JB's. Let me just start okay. right there. Yeah. I used to be 19 years old and I was, I, I, I had, wasn't doing trans like she was mm -hmm. or tra dressing up. But I really started at 20. My issue, and I got a lot of issues with Angela Stanton. Mm -hmm. I think that, first of all, I think she's sharp. Let me just, let me be very, yeah. I think she's exceptionally yeah. sharp. I think she's a, very informed on some things. But as soon as she realizes that the love for her child supersedes what her child has, the love for, or the mm -hmm. hate for what her child has become, mm -hmm. she's going to be a better person. And I'm with you. It's going to take time. Right. My issue with JB's was the disrespect didn't only show from her mom. When you were interviewing her, she picked up her phone and was reading her messages as if she wasn't even sitting in the room with mm. you. Understand that respect starts young and it carries right. over to older. I thought that was quite disrespectful yeah. because we're interviewing. Why am I right. going to sit here and you asking me questions? I'm looking at my phone like I'm not even addressing Well, you. she was reading the comments. She didn't see, I didn't to. even know yeah. that. So let me, let me I, I was so just like, so when she went off, I was shocked because I was right. like, well, who's homophobic? But mm -hmm. the entire time she was reading the comments but, and I'm like. But, but she was in an interview with you. Right. You're right. So that was that was disrespectful to me. Secondly, me and my mom have don't have the greatest relationship. Okay. Yeah. But I'm not going to publicly blast my mom, right. even though we didn't have the internet back then. We didn't have social media. 
But that, I'm not going to get on here and MF and bitch my mom. And mm-hmm. woo-woo. A caller ID is the greatest thing ever invented when you don't get along with your parents. Because <laughs> right. all you got to do is not answer the exactly. goddamn phone. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Or not respond to the text. Take the read or deliver it off your text messages. Right. They'll never know when you got it. I thought she was quite disrespectful. And for all the information and, ex- and as intelligent as she spoke to you, at the end of the interview, when she talks to them, and to all you bitches out there that's hating, I'm going to cut my dick off for y'all can suck. What you did was took all the fame and the glory away from what you had just put out mm-hmm. and made it look foolish. Yeah. This is coming from an old training yeah. to a young training. Yeah. It was ridiculous. I thought she was ridiculous. Do I agree with the mother? Absolutely not. Right. Especially yeah. on her political stance right. or how yeah. she loves her child. And but- like I said, I, I don't really... Everybody knows that. I don't fuck with Angela. Me and Angela have had a lot of back and forth public spats. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's because still just, a mother, though. She's yeah, still she's the still mother. a mother. Yeah. And I extended that grace. And so for me, it was more like, and I wish it could have been more intimate. Mm-hmm. It was actually supposed to be an intimate interview mm-hmm. in the wine cellar. But of course, uh, uh, she was coming from a gig. And so we just kind of had to rope it in there and, and get it done. So and that that's why it was so last minute. But um and and why it was not. You remember when you interviewed me and you told me that you knew a young trans girl and you wanted to ask her questions, but you didn't feel like you was in the space to do it. Right. That was the space that you provided for her. Yeah. She made it something else. Right. See what I'm saying? We yeah. are always on the defense because our lives are so tough and it starts at home. Right. That was very living proof of what I told you about because right. all she was on the defense. She's on the defense with everybody because it started at her home with her mom. Right. Yeah. That's why we on the defense. But if you get us into a safe space and make me feel comfortable and safe talking to you, I'm pretty much right. an open book. And most trans women are. We're willing to tell our story to somebody we know, love, and trust. Right. But if I'm on the defense and you come at me sideways, oh, I'm going to straighten your ass up because that's what we are used to doing. Right. And it's- I think in this space, too, I'm not a parent by any means, but... You better not be. <laughs> You uh, pregnant? Your ass absolutely up. not. Okay. Um, absolutely not. But I think yeah. my main thing was I don't care how bad a relationship is with the parent. I don't think you should ever publicly bash your parent. Yeah. We yeah. talked about this even like when that. the whole Kirk Franklin and his son situation happened. Uh-huh. It's just certain family business should just be kept private. Right. You shouldn't be publicizing that because if you're publicizing the hurt, how are you actually going to do the work at home to really repair the relationship? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when you start disrespecting your parent, that becomes the focus and what you're saying becomes almost like a mute point. And I feel like that's what happened yeah. with Jay Biz at yeah. that point. Because you're I was looking at, well, why are you bashing your mama like this? I understand. She may be as wrong as all right. get out. Absolutely yeah. wholeheartedly but agree with that. But that's that's still your mom. You're here because of her. You know what I mean? So yeah. there should there should still be some level of respect, at least from you as the child in the situation. That Let was me my ask thought. You a question. If you're one of your children to turn turn your because you have two kids, right. 14 and 2. Yeah. Somebody took a break. Uh, <laughs> It, it right got now. good to somebody <laughs> after listen, 12 years. Mr. Howard is neutered right now. So. <laughs> I need some of you women stop blaming me, the men. You me should work on your pullout look, game. Me, you need to work on your pullout me game. Me or the side bitch can't get pregnant. <laughs> Whose child is that? <laughs> bitch, whose child is that? How, how, would you, how would you intake one of your children if they came to you at a certain age to say that they identify as transgender? Um, to me, it wouldn't be a problem because you are so friendly with right. Them. You're a fruit fly. I, I, That's yeah, what I call, I'm a fruit fly. Yeah, but fruit I, fly. it would definitely be an issue for their dad. Yeah, you, mm. male or female. He, yeah, because um, he's you know the way he was raised. You know, mm. African. They're they're still um, oppressing uh, the LGBTQ in Mali. They have to hide it, and if they get caught, there's a video he just sent me the other day. Um, they're arresting them. They're beating them. Ooh, they're, they're wow. They're killing them. So he was raised like that is not. Um, acceptable. healthy, yeah. acceptable. And so t- to him, it would be in the family, it would be a big issue. But for wow. me, my child has my love. I love that. I'm going because I, I birthed like that you. child. Yeah. Like I love my daughter for who she is. Like she said something the other day, I, I was commenting on an outfit that she had on and I'm all about presentation. Mm-hmm. You know, kids sometimes I- don't understand that. And then she goes, well, what are you trying to say? That I look that I look gay and I'm like, what is what does that have to do? I've seen gay women look beautiful and then I've seen some gay women look fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like some of the fucked up ones though. Let me just start right there. <laughs> so I said, I understand you're on TikTok and they're gaslighting your yeah. ass. Like, but you need to calm down. Yeah. Like I I you know mommy has a lot of gay friends. A lesbian, bisexual, trans, it doesn't matter. But that has nothing to do with your sexuality just because I'm telling you that you're representing yourself in a very wrong way right yeah. now. So, and I think that's another thing. Like, you know, JB's mm-hmm. and, you know, her mom, Angela, Angela doesn't like the way that her daughter, 
a trans daughter is representing herself twerking and stuff on the internet. First of all, any parent doesn't like any of their children on the internet shaking their ass. Yeah. I don't think it has anything to do with JB's being trans. It's right. like yeah. if it was the daughter, it would be a problem. But, you know, he, she's roping everything Together. into one yeah. and it's not. Like, it, it's your right to do what you yeah. want to do. But I just felt like the respect wasn't there. And I get it. Angela is a hothead at the same time. That's your mom. You you are, JB's is a hothead because of her mom. That's they, called, that's, learn behavior. It's, it's learn behavior. behavior. Yeah. It is called the Frankenstein effect. Right. We, we create monsters because let's go back to the Frankenstein story. Frankenstein was never the monster. Frankenstein created the monster and then he did not want to face the monster that he created. Mm. Yeah. That is what Angela has done. She has created this monster and now she don't want to deal with this right. monster that she created. And that's all that is. And I'm hoping that they can find a happy place. The sad part is if they make up in five, ten years, the internet will never go away. Yeah. It will I'm... always be there that you called your like, mother out of AdamandEve.com I'm talking toys, bondage, lingerie, and so much more. Plus they have 24-7 customer service so you can order at 3 a.m. if you ain't coming if you get me okay and if something isn't working out you can send it back within 90 days no hassle and if that's not enough you can also take pleasure in knowing that 20 percent of their profits goes to help fight the spread of hiv around the world so go on ahead and log on to adamandeve.com use the code tasha k for 50 percent off one item plus free shipping in the u.s and canada some exclusions apply now but hurry up and visit adamandeve.com so they can make you come. Let's put the wine down for a second because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and has been known to reverse high blood pressure, lupus, diabetes, and certain cancers. Check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order or simply click the link below in the description box. Now back to the wine. I'm gonna be honest with you, I never shared this with anybody. My mom, I mean, they know that my mom and I have had like our ups and downs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But my mom called the Steve Wilco show on me. Really? She oh, got, from Chicago. She got pissed. Uh, shit, a couple weeks ago, she was just like, I'm going to Whitney Williams to tell all your business. I was like, please, go. Do whatever you gotta do. <laughs> right? <Okay>. Go. <laughs> do whatever you gotta do. But she thinks that's the way, like, to hurt me because when I don't want to disrespect, because I, I will never disrespect her, I just don't answer the phone. Call her ID, baby. My thing is, like, I will never, I will, I will never ever fix my mouth to disrespect my mom. So if I can't say anything respectful to you, I would just rather we just not don't talk, need to talk to you. Yeah. So, but she will take you there. Mm -hmm. So she will, she will begin to say shit and then it'll, you know, my mom knows me. Mm -hmm. yeah. She knows exactly what to do to get me out of my character. Push your buttons, yeah. So I just don't, you know what I'm saying? So I just take breaks from her. But she was just like, they, they, them, them, you know, them people call me and I said, respectfully, don't you fucking call me no more. And if I was going to sit with anybody, you know, no offense to my white people, how the fuck you going to fix a black issue? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you real right about that how one. Fuck, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Who said that last week? Yeah. I'm black. Like, how the fuck, bitch, call Ayanya, whatever her Ayana, name is. Ayanna, first of all, let's go back to her. Ayanna ain't fix shit. I will sit with Ayanna <laughs> and I will home, take it. She come home. No, but Ayanna ain't gonna fix it. it. Ayanna started a bunch of shit and then she tip out, oh, my love it, my work now, is I done. Now, I don't like that because she's like, <laughs> we just fostered a facility to, to open conversation. <laughs> well, what does that mean? We create a safe space <laughs> to have conversation. <laughs> so while you're here, you're going to talk. Now, what you do outside of here, that ain't none of my motherfucking <laughs> That's all it is. That's it. Nick, did you watch the interview with Tasha and JB's? I did indeed. And I think Tasha, what I, my takeaway was because it's not. Uh, neither of them are people to whom I'd be attracted to actually watch do anything, right? So my 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 fandom is with you because I do like the fact that you find a way to still elevate a conversation. Because if it weren't for your platform, I don't know that I would have been engaged in what was happening with them because I do think they have a very specific audience. Mm -hmm. I think that they tend to um, uh, attract a an element that is attracted to what it is that they bring to the table. Whereas you, on the other hand, I think that you've created a safe space through all of your interviews uh, where you continue to offer people to uh, air their voice uh, and, and you keep it elevated. And I think that my question for you is less about them, because I think they were only a moment in all the work that you've done. But how do you prepare when you are preparing for interviews and people that you have on your show? When you are preparing for your next guest, like you prepare for Flame or anyone preceding Flame, how do you prepare for your guests who uh, attend your show? Well, I hate to say this, but I don't. 
I like to get to know people as they are. I don't mm-hmm. want to have a preconceived notion going into any of my interviews. Yeah. Now, of course, I do have an interview coming up with Kwame. Um, I don't want to have a preconceived Brown? Um, inter- yes. Oh, okay. I don't want to. I'm not going to go in with a preconceived, but I have done some work because I'm not a basketball fan. Hmm. And so, and everything that I found out <laughs> given his basketball career, I, I'm not a sports fan at all. So, just like mm-hmm. that, that, no, you know, and I heard people, you know, saying that, like, how is she going to conduct this interview and she doesn't know sports? Well, we're not here talking about sports. his sports. We're going to touch on that briefly. But, I mean, Kwame Brown has really made a statement coming up. You know what I'm saying? And he's been going back and forth with your partner. You know what I'm saying? Oh! <laughs> Charlemagne. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so Ooh, that, that. that right there, it's like, and, and everybody was like, well, you gotta you gotta go to Tasha K. And so, you know, uh, uh, Star Terrain uh, set that up and, and made the introduction and said, you know, if you're gonna sit down with anybody, it's gotta be Tasha. Because for me, I'm not gonna judge them coming in. I'm gonna let you lay it out there. Now right. I'm gonna ask you some questions that people are maybe too politically afraid to yeah, ask. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? And then I think that's where, you know, I that's what makes my show so so different is that I'm not I, afraid to ask the question with and I don't offend you when I'm asking it because I'm not asking it from a place of malice. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. I, I completely agree. I don't think that you've ever moved in a space of shock. And I think that that's one of the reasons why we find uh, oh, no, she definitely refreshing. shocks the shit out of people. Let's, I yeah, tried. Yeah, she <laughs> she listen, she I'm a fan. Up now. Wendy is my bitch. Listen, Howard Stern, that's lit. If he was black, he was my nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, uh, Charlemagne, I'm a fan of him. Like, people don't understand. And I, and I want to say this, too, while I'm here, because I know he's your partner. I hate how much he switched up his style because of the controversy. Charlemagne will say whatever the fuck was on his mind. That's what made him who he was. And because of that controversy with Jessica Reed, you know what I'm saying? He's taking a stance back because a lot of that stuff was brought up. Like, well, if he said this for entertainment purposes, then he is this way. And it's like, no, you know what I'm saying? That situation was what it was. But as far as who he is, like, I just don't like, I don't like the conservative Charlemagne. I just don't. Charlemagne uh, have del- divulged into a whole bunch of new businesses. Yeah. So I understand that right. he had to switch it up because but he needed to further But they came to, to him because of they did. who he was. They did, but it's called, also called evolving. Look right. at what happened with Joe Boot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Charlemagne right. was going a different way. And he, so he's like, let me go this way because I don't want to go that way. So I get that part. I want you to ask Kwame Brown to st- please start teaching a class. Just ask him for me to teach it. <laughs> Because when I tell you that Kwame Brown knows how to read, baby, woo, that thing will box you up and put you in the dirt. All yes. you need to deliver is the daisy in the dirt because you does. have been put in the and box. And it's his platform. It's more so like it's not me there to be, you know, drilling him yeah. on who he is. Like people already know who he is, but I just want to get to know him from a different perspective. You know what I'm saying? My show is all about personally getting into people's business, and that's what we're going to do along with bringing <laughs> all the other elements of, you know, because he is married and he does believe in family, and, you know, what I've noticed is that his dad hasn't had the best reputation and, of course, you know, that's been aired. And so, what has made him be the man that he is and lead a stable family and a stable life and to be able to raise, you know, his children yeah. and, you know, help his family out. So, because a lot of times people will say, oh, because my mom is this way, I'm supposed to be this way. Or my dad is this right. but he's completely took a very yeah. very different approach in life well tell me we got he got fans over here we're fans of his mm-hmm. because let me tell you something if kaya was a man it would be kwame brown because nobody oh, reads like yeah. kaya yeah. and yeah. kwame brown like, had, kaya's that bitch. listen everybody be telling me to go back and forth i kaya love for kaya what? i love kaya her. will drag me and i will literally <laughs> bow down <laughs> That's the only bitch that can drag me on the internet. Like, yeah. I can go toe to toe with somebody. I'll be like, you know what? Kaya got this. <laughs> she it's got it. Good. She got it. See, she that's, got why it. We, that's why we sisters. Because yes. I say this publicly on Love Lounge. Yes. I will never fuck with Kaya. Kaya no. will torch your ass. Right. While you looking at her like the match. But I have seen T.S. Madison give it a business one or two times. I've seen T.S. be cute. <laughs> I love, and I love my T.S. But T.S. ain't no match oh, for Kaya. Mm. Yeah. But no, Um, I, I just... Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited yeah. to talk to Kwame and, and, and really dive in from a, a different Before perspective. Before we move on and... to the next subject, I want to put this point out. What what happened with that whole JB's and uh, her mom, Angela yes, Stanton yes. King, 
what it did to me for the trans community. This is Pride Month. I hope y'all had month, Pride before June. I hope y'all was proud of you who you are. I should have wore June. my rainbow outfit. To but what it did to me was, okay. as a trans person, <laughs> a, a person of trans experience, it made us look go backwards because they mm. love to say, "Well, Flame, you dragging us back." I'm not dragging us back. Yeah. But here's the thing. Trans women and men are moving in spaces that we never dreamed possible in this lifetime right. in 2020. We have a state senator, Sarah McBride from Delaware. We have a doctor that Joe Biden appointed. We have producers, directors, actors. T.S. Madison had a TV show. Pose did wonders for it. We had a, a, a trans man who's an actor on S. Lono SVU. I think he had two episodes on there. So we are moving the needle forward. Mm -hmm. But if we keep fighting over BS, which is pronouns and bathroom rights, y'all made it real difficult. Let's keep it. I want to get it back to simple. I don't understand hot crock pot sexual, skillet <laughs> sexual, uh, curtain sexual, uh, sign sexual. Uh, when you get in the bed with somebody, you either want a stick or a stone. And they always holler, well, some people are born with both. Then, nigga, you blessed because you got a right. double bubble. It's called hey, a twofer. I don't know who the inter It's a twofer. I don't know who the intersex was doing the interviews on YouTube, but that was a sexy motherfucker. Did they show you both the, the origins? No, but he, okay, <laughs> he's living his life as a man. He had the choice. He said, when I came up, yeah. I was a woman. And I was a very beautiful woman. But then, you know, he decided to, to mm. live as a man. Uh -huh. And he was like, you know, men are attracted to me and women are attracted to me. He said, but you know, when I'm with a man, it's not so much intimacy. We just have sex. But with women, it's different. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I, you know, I get to be myself. I'm that's accepted. What, that's what I said. And I, 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 <laughs> listen, I was on the phone like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't mind, you know, if I was, you know, wasn't married and stuff. Uh -uh, uh -uh. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Baby, well, it was the like. eyes. It was the eyes. And he had tattoos around his eyes. Give, uh, and baby some I was like, wine. damn. We need more. We need Give baby more some more rosé. We need more. <laughs> Tasha, we gonna get Tasha drunk. I'm trying uh, to get uh, all the dirt talk. I was just like, damn. Like, you, you don't look too bad. And you got some swagging. Well, that, that's the downfall to me. Because it's simpler when you just realize you can identify as this table, right. as this light, as anything, this microphone. But when you get in bed with somebody, there's only two things that you could possibly want. Mm -hmm. If you blown born, yeah. if you blessed enough to have to, I hope both of them. I hope one big and one small. Now, when I say that, I'm talking about. I hope the man is big <laughs> and the woman is small. Don't come in here with no big coochie, no little video peeny. Oh, what you go? Yeah. Don't see a lot of you women love to holler. Oh, he ain't got no big one. No, you just roomy. Understand oh, uh, that if he no, eight no, inches no, no, and no, you no, got no, a three no, bedroom no, no. apartment. Let me speak. <laughs> let me speak for the little. Can I say dick? Come on. Yes, let me can. speak for the little dick man out there. No offense, okay. <laughs> You got to have some other specialties going on because Boom. like if I was with a little dick man, you would definitely have to give me head and please me in other ways. You understand? So I, I, I get that. And there are men with big dicks that can't please you orally and stuff like that. Mm. But I dated a guy with a little dick and I could not feel him going in. He had to stay close. So he wouldn't slip out. So the pumps was like this. And he was Korean. <laughs> the pumps was like this. Child, he was Korean. Oh, so he was a natural money man. <laughs> if, they, if they age you, they gonna make I got dollars. all my hair and everything when I was wearing weed back in the day. My little, I got my little jumpsuits, my little furry flip flops. Yeah. And shit from the that gives a whole new room. meaning to Asian lives Listen. matter. Shit. That <laughs> was for the culture, guys. Look, I was for the culture, but I was like, damn, we gotta go back in the room again, God. Tasha, I'm trying to. What'd you say, Nick? You froze because here. I know. What'd you say, I, Nick? Okay, Tasha, I'm going to try to steer you back and ask you a couple of things. That okay, I know cool, cool, cool. Yeah, get Nick, is, Nick, is, Nick is a professional. It's the wine. Okay. I'm so yeah. sorry. Hey, that, hey, no problem at all. But Tasha, one of the things we talk about on Laugh and Learn are different topics and hot topics and things that are happening in the culture. Okay. One of the topics that got a lot of response on our page was cancel culture. Yeah. What is your stance on that, Tasha? Talk to us about cancel, cancel culture, culture and what that means. Amen. Fuck cancel culture. <laughs> ass. I tell them motherfuckers every day, you cannot fucking cancel me. I had, I think the most I had was 70,000 unsubscribe over that Jaguar bitch. Listen, I said, y'all, listen, y'all will be back because in this, in this culture, we're only as good as our last story. Right. So if people get hung on, like I'm canceled, I'm canceled, I'm canceled. Drop your next story. Drop the story after that. Drop. They forget about that shit. That's how the mm. internet works. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's going to be another scandal. Yeah. So, and one person I do respect, Kevin Hart. I just saw when, what he said about cancel culture. Yeah. He, he said, I don't need this goddamn job. Fuck. 
fuck y'all bitches. Yeah. Well, I honestly, I honestly, I gained a lot of respect for him when he was up to for hosting the Oscars. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, all of his old tweets came out that he had already apologized mm -hmm. about, you know, what he said about the LGBTQ community. And then they were trying to force him to apologize again. And he said, no, I'm not no. doing it. So, I mean, I, I respect what he did. He said, I, you know, I apologized. I made a mistake. I moved on. If y'all want to keep bringing up old stuff and trying to cancel me, y'all do that. I don't need the job. They have tried everything. You yeah. know what? You Party know what? gang. Yeah. The barbs. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, I'm still here. Huh. I'm still here and I'm still getting very much motherfucking paid. Hey, get your check. <laughs> you know why? Because y'all didn't give me a check, bitch. It was God. Oh, okay. okay, now there we go. Because you know that's my dude they, right people there. People be thinking that they ain't trying to know. Because I don't care. Listen, I can lose this platform. I guarantee you're going to see me pop up somewhere else, bitch, and I'm going to make it. Watch what I tell you. <laughs> Well, don't say that too loud because Trump might hear you. And that nigga lost his platform on Facebook. Well, we don't want him Trump. to get another one. Listen, everybody wanted to silence Trump. He was fucking with everybody money. You start fucking with people money, then they going to get your ass out. You fuck with anything else, but you start, especially them white, them white conservatives, you start fucking yeah. with their money, they got a problem. Yeah, you right about you that. You got to go. We are big Kevin Hart fans over yes. here because you remember when he was going to host the Oscars, I worked with Kevin and this was long before he was this Kevin Hart and I was this same one wrote and he was very respectful to me. Yeah. I was she, now the nigga didn't pull out my chair or buy me a drink, but he was very respectful <laughs> to me. He called me she, he mm -hmm. introduced me as she hmm. at the comedy store. And uh, when he was going to host the Oscars, I tweeted to him and he responded. I said, all you need to do is let me carry you out on piggyback. And I could just say, see y'all, he do like us. He all over me. Yeah. It was all done. You would have never had to address the elephant in the room because we just married him. Why address mm -hmm. it? That was something he said early in his career. Child, if yeah. they, they going to cancel for some and, shit, and I let me said, tell you, good God. People be so busy focus on the past, yeah. but your future is your present. What are you doing now? Mm -hmm. And that's when you find a lot of these motherfuckers that call themselves cancel culture, can't yeah. get a fucking head in life, and they on the internet trolling bitches, trying to get their platforms taken down while y'all motherfuckers still sitting at home, ain't wiping your fucking stinking ass. I'm sorry. I'm Ooh. sorry. One more glass of wine, baby. I'm drinking one more. Take it in. We love it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, no, that's fine. let's kind of segue, got... though, on that topic, though. What about the black agenda versus the gay agenda? Ooh, let's talk that, about okay, it. That is two very separate conversations. Okay. Because we as black people as a whole have our own issues with being oppressed, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, our black men are being slaughtered daily. And I, I don't care. And it's, women. Yes, and mm -hmm. women. And I don't care, you know, why people saying, well, black people kill black more black people every day. We black. We black. We can do that, okay? We can do that. We ain't trying to kill us because we try to really depopulate. There, there, there's an agenda out there. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But then there's the separate issue, LGBTQ not being accepted by their own black people and not being considered and taken serious or being respected. And it's like, we're all black. What does my sexuality have to do with my contributions to the world? I can still march with you. I'm still getting told I can't. I'm still gonna get pulled over and asked, you know, to step out the car simply because I'm black, not because I'm gay, yeah. not mm -hmm. because I'm LGBTQ. So we all have the same issues. And, and one thing's for sure is that we as black people can't ask for respect from the masses if we don't respect each other within our own culture. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's Absolutely. like, you know, like I said, I'll go back to people saying, oh, well, y'all kill each other more. It, and it's like, but it ain't a white person making me clean that shit, telling me I can't, it's, it's a beef. It's like governing our own. Mm -hmm. We have the right to do that. That is our own, just like how Asian people coexist together. Yeah. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You can barely walk into an Asian mart now and see us. Now they're starting to be a little bit more inclusive because they understand we don't really want to deal with them and we're going to start our own stores yeah. like we're doing now. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And now they're trying to hire us to make it seem like it's we buying from us, but it's not. And statistically, mm -hmm. whatever neighbor, whoever, whatever your community yeah. is, that's who commits the most crimes against you. Exactly. So white folks kill white folks more than right. we do. Right. And, uh, and, and so yeah. them using that, no, that's bullshit. Yeah. That's just a way to yeah. say, oh, well, it, what we do is not right. No, I, I had a police, I had an officer pull me over the other day. I, I drive a Cadillac Escalade, okay? The big body, the bus. Come on now. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's about $115,000, you know? And I got my kid in the car. We got Sonic. I'm about to drop her off. I'm going 70 and a 45. Okay, you got the right to pull me over. You asked me how fast you're going. 70. Well, I clocked you at 72. Well, I, well, if we're going to round, 
seven. It's round down. Okay. <laughs> Any drugs or weapons in the car? I looked at my daughter who was sitting next to me. Like, sir, you want to search it? Do, do you? Is that what you were pulling me over for? Is that what you? You see somebody driving this car and all of a sudden, I ain't worked hard to get it. Mm -hmm. Fuck out of here. So I asked him when he came back. I said, now, it's funny that you asked me in front of my child if I have drugs or guns in a car. Did you think I would tell you? Right. You're, and this was in Georgia. This was in fucking Georgia. I love Georgia right now. Georgia, y'all turn blue. Go Georgia. Shout out, Go Stacey Georgia. St 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 Shout out to Stacey Abrams. They fucked her over too. And you see what she doing. She, huh. Stacey huh. Abrams is on the ground. She said, and fuck she ain't a cancel her. culture. This bitch done rose up. Listen. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> but I'm sorry, Nick. You have a question. Tasha, last question I have for you, because it looks like everybody's on the roll. The last question I have for you, as an interviewer, Tasha, has there been a time when you've done an interview and you wish you hadn't gone that far? Have you ever said, ooh, I went too far? No, not far enough. Now, I have done interviews where I said I wish I would have never done it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. I had yeah. one of those before. Yeah. But it wasn't on my platform. Yeah. I was on somebody else's. People yeah. keep asking me to interview you. Well, how many times are you going to ask me what I got between my legs? Yep, it's there. Yeah. I just <laughs> peed. It's still there. It's lovely. Just, it's lovely too. It's, it's no. I'm sorry. Why, it's, why would it's somebody impressive. ask you that? Like I ask you, are you good in bed? I don't ask like, oh. what do you have between your leg? Like that's crazy to me. Mm -hmm. Like that's like you asking me like yeah. what my titties look like. Yeah, it's, isn't it's, that sexual harassment? It is. Oh, for sure. Well, a lot of these people who got podcasts now and influencers just doing stuff for ratings. They just want to do yeah. stuff for shock. And to get people to come on, oh, did you see how so-and-so let Flame have it or let Tasha K have it? Or, as opposed to just actually trying to find out some content and find out who the person is you're talking to. Because there's always layers and layers and layers, especially if we're in entertainment. We show you one thing. We live 12 different lives. Yeah, that's Tasha K rolled interview. up on me with nappy hair, slob running down my face, <laughs> no bra on, titties dangling down with right like on the side that of my anyway. hips. Listen. And she was like, come on, Flame, which house? I was like, go to the White House. Come on in. Listen, I'm like that anyway. Anybody come to my house? house know what I didn't see me. They be like, silly? Yeah. What's going on now? <laughs> What's it, it's, What's up? It's too much smoke screen. Everybody putting on pretentious. But you know, I, that's I why I turned shit. down like 98% of interviews that I get asked to do because it's like people are trying to troll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get views. And I'm I'm very I don't like wasting my time. Mm -hmm. I'm very funny about that. Like I got two kids. I got Take one four mine, businesses. I got no, I'm trying mm -hmm. to give away mine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got a husband that requires sex every fucking night, and he don't want no lazy pussy either. You understand? I got shit to do. Hmm? Is that why you trying to get all slim and fine for your No, I'm husband? trying to get all slim and fine for me. He he, African. He like them thick. Oh, that's right. They do like them. People be forgetting that shit. Like, he they, like Because they consider thing. you rich when you be vegan. <laughs> yes. His family be like, what's wrong with you? You Ooh. ain't eating. Over there, it's disrespect. Like, they, you know? He tell me, like, you know you ain't got to do all that. No, I'm, I'm doing me. It's for me. I want to be healthy. I want to be a mobile. Because my son, I'm telling you, having him natural, he, he tore my ass up. Oh, yeah. but speaking of having natural babies, did you see the woman in Africa who just had 10 babies I at one time? I saw that she, and she was what? Malian. She was from my husband's country. She was Malian. 10 babies? Ten, hey, they drank. Was they it like them. back to back? Or? No, it was she at had one them time. at one time. She was supposed to have seven. She get to, I think they flew her to Morocco or something, if I'm not mistaken, to have the babies in, uh, cause they didn't have the healthcare system set Woo, up for her. Oh, oh husband. If I would've been in the room and I would've saw no, all that, I wouldn't no care invito. how hung I was. I would've been like, I can't follow No that. invito. I just can't follow but they have, But <laughs> over there, I can get a girl to work in my house to cook, clean, take care of my kids for $50 a month. And that's a salary for them. That's not considered wow. like, yeah, I can send my family $500 a month over there. They can live off of that for three months. And have houses bigger than this. My husband's mom's house is bigger than my house. I have like a 5,500 square foot house. She's got an 8,000 square foot house with full staff. Pays everybody $50, $50 a month. They stay and they stay until they die. They don't leave. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Where is this set now? What, this where? in Mali. Oh. <laughs> this is in Mali. Why are you trying to relocate a little bit? You want to relocate? Is, they got internet over there. I'm on this my way to Mali. My, my husband's parents are so fucking wealthy. They built him a house over there. Mm. Like all their kids have their own houses built, paid for cash. Their kids don't have to work for nothing. So I know they show us one part of Africa on TV, but that's not it. Like you have, just like you have poor people, do they show you a lot of the homelessness mm. that's going on out here mm. in Los Angeles? No. 
They over there yeah. worry about them. Worry about the motherfuckers over here. Yeah. To yeah, go back to the black, shit. to go back to the black and gay. So I worked at a club here, and a girl introduced me. She had, I, she had a problem with me having a problem with her using the word nigger in my presence. Okay. A white girl. Mm. White, oh. When I say white girl, she was a queen. So one day on the show, she introduced me as their favorite ninja. So when I came mm. in the dressing room, Ooh. I said. So you're not gonna, she said, did you like that? I said, if you were gonna say it, you should have just said the fucking word. Right. Don't pussyfoot around. I said, so let me break down the origin of what the word nigga is and what I was back in the day mm. in my lineage and what you were in your lineage. Mm. I explained to her that I was a slave. I was a, a breedable. I was always a commodity. I was money. People saw me and saw money because I was, you were white trash. White trash was not even allowed on the plantations. White folks back there who had money didn't want white folks on their plantations if you had no stature or no money. I reminded her the trail that you came trail- from white trash <laughs> 400 years ago and you are still white trash yeah. and you will never escape And it. that's why the Black Panther Party was able to rally them motherfuckers up too. I lost my, I lost my job after that, but the bitch still white trash and look at me now. How you do it? <laughs> I love it, I love it. Sometimes you have to educate them because they think that they are better than you and above you. There is not a bitch above me. Mm -mm, Well, for me, I had a similar story, but I was actually in seventh grade and we were reading uh, the book, The Diary of Anne Frank. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you have we were talking about the story and everything. And my white English teacher decided to add a word to our vocabulary list. And it was ghetto. And then she decided to provide her own definition of what ghetto was. Oh no, the fuck she didn't. Yeah, and <laughs> proceeded to say, and proceeded to say, this is an area where you find predominantly African Americans. So me being me. What? She I ain't seen look. the trailer parks in Panama City, Florida. <laughs> so me being me. <laughs> and she ain't no- seen them walking in there with no motherfucking shoes on and they feet black as the goddamn sky. She ain't seen them. Me being me, I raised my hand. I said, excuse me, where did you get that definition from? She said, oh, it's, it's just the definition. I said, was it Miriam? Was it the Oxford? Where did the, where oh, did the definition come from? Yeah. I'm I'm not arguing with you. Well, I'm sorry, but this is my education. So if you want to say something, I need some facts to solidify this. Mm. I'm not arguing with you about this, Lauren. I said, okay, no problem. You can talk to my crazy ass mom. If <laughs> o'clock when she gets I know Miss Marsh. Oh, I know Miss Marsh. That part. That's why Lauren mm-hmm. likes that you. That part. Because I also said to her too, and I said, so what happens to all the white trailer park trash that I see when I drive past? What do you classify what them as? Guys, what did he say? Cause they won't even let them motherfuckers in their house. Oh yeah, I was always a problem in school, but she I'm didn't want to talk you, to me. There's nothing worse than a a white person whose skin is black. Like I'm talking about, they got black holes <laughs> all over their body. <laughs> they mustache, they faces like at, look like acid. They teeth rotten. What you call that? West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> That's that why. was, I was, hey, hey, it was, you know it was a joke, y'all. It was a little joke, <laughs> Listen, listen, y'all. I got somebody that lived fairly close to me. I ain't going to say how close. She drops off brownies. When she's outside talking to me, she's scratching her ass. Mm. Her husband is scratching his ass. They got the dog that they kiss in the mouth and stuff. Well, wait a minute. Why they drop I, down brownies to you? Right. Because they trying to, you know. Hi, Tasha. Girl, How you that? doing? Yeah. Hi, Washington. You throw the brownies away, Hi, though, right? I, I listen. I take them in. And you throw them away. I throw them away. I yeah. wash her bowl. Yeah. I bleach her bowl. Yeah. And I send it back and say okay. they were good. Girl, I yeah. hope she ain't watching. <laughs> she ain't watching. <laughs> She ain't watching. They you. were good. And she listen. She live in a very upscale neighborhood. So what that motherfucking thing? Okay. Mm-hmm. Listen. I want to go back to the gay agenda versus the black agenda. Okay. It really okay. is. Okay. It really is. I hate that the gay community, my community, challenges me and challenges people on that because the gay struggle is not like the black struggle. I'm in complete, complete agreement with you. If mm-hmm. Ahmaud Arbery would have been running as a black man with rainbow shorts on and a gay flag. He might have got called a fag or a black yeah. nigger or gay nigger, but I do not believe that they would have shot him. That's because I think that being hmm. gay lets down the level of fear to people on the outside. Well, you you touching on some waters that I didn't know you was going to go. Well, I'm just saying, I, when you I'm mean, stopped by the you, police. You know about the soy in the food. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. But when I'm stopped <laughs> by the police station, I put my hands out the window and I tell him, I'm, also, I'm transgender. I'm a drag queen. No, he don't do that. No, my husband puts his, he has his license. And no, I don't do none of that. I just put my hands house. out and say, I'm transgender. I'm a drag queen. I'm a man with titties. Anything to drop that level of fear that you yeah. don't see my black skin because I cannot hide the black right. skin. 
But if I if I make you feel less intimidated by it because I'm trans right. and it, I can get home to my children. Right. That's that's why I do that, that. That's the goal. My husband has his shit out the window. Yeah. His license, registration, and insurance out the hmm. window just so there's no issue. Because if so you said the husband listen, was trans, then you was going to have a problem. They don't try to take me to jail. They said my fucking car was stolen. I said, well, then I need all my motherfucking money back that I paid in these car payments. They had me surrounded with seven cars. In Georgia? In Georgia. That in way, my yeah, car. In Georgia. In the, in the I lived in Cobb County at the time. I live in Gwinnett oh, County now. Com- they said mm. they had me. And he was like, well, you don't look nervous. What the the only way I'm looking nervous is you motherfuckers standing over me, Wait, surrounding me and shit. Yeah. But I, no, yeah. I'm not nervous because I know I ain't did nothing motherfucking wrong. That's when I do have to say Atlanta in a lot of ways because I went to Spelman. Right. So oh. I lived I lived in Georgia for four years, but Adl- there's Atlanta and then there's the rest of Georgia. Right. It's it's really a thing because I never saw, that too. but I've never seen so many black officers though being in Atlanta. But as soon as you step out of that, yeah. It's like, whoa. And the a black totally officers world. don't fuck with us. They don't. They will. Listen, they I, I almost collided with a police officer one day. He running the light I am too. Oh. <laughs> 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 Listen, I know that life has been kicking all of our ass lately, but we don't have to look like it. Walking around with dark circles like I used to, acne, hyperpigmentation, not all. You can knock all of that out. Adjust your crown and return your skin to goddess status with the Regal Rose Club. Purchase their vegan skincare cleanser, moisturizer, and mask using the link below. It's made with all organic and premium natural herbs. Get your glow back with Regal Rose Club. See, I enjoy oral sex, but to be honest, some of my experiences have been not pleasing due to lack of proper vaginal hygiene. I went down on this shit once, and the yoni was so good and fresh. It took me on like a whole nother level of just pleasure. So at that moment, I had to stop and ask, what are you using? And she told me, embrace Pangea Feminine Wash. We all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence. So visit embracepangea.com. And of course, I got my winos covered for a discount. So use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. I was trying to get home. He, he turned them goddamn lights on, turned around. Woo, woo. He was like, what the fuck was that? But that's the I'm sorry. I was just trying to get that is, yeah. And then he, you he just said, left Atlanta. Go about your business. Yeah. You just left Atlanta, right, Nick? I just left Atlanta, you know. Um, Where are you from, Nick? Uh, uh, from Chicago. Oh, I grew up okay. not too far from Flames. That's so, yeah. Really hard. Yeah. 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 That nigga, that nigga ain't hard. Uh, that nigga a crab. That nigga start crying right now. Listen, <laughs> before, before all this, before all this, I was breaking down bricks. And okay. Flame used to be one of my Flame used to be one of my runners. That's how I met Flame. You you was breaking. You were selling bricks. Yeah, absolutely. Flame was, was a runner hard. for me. He talked back real in the day. Too, so absolutely. He probably got away so. with that shit because he speaks. <laughs> <laughs> His mama watching. When I tell you all this is watching. so superficial <laughs> and so pretend, yeah. that nigga, is, if he saw some drugs, he'd be like, oh my God, I've never seen drugs. <laughs> Scary dick ass. Nah, nigga, if you don't nah. knock it off. <laughs> no, I've been knowing Nick for 30 years. Oh, but wow. Nick, yeah. how was it when you were in Atlanta this weekend? How was the temperature? Oh, the temperament? It, 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 was, it was hot. It was fantastic. But Atlanta has changed. Lauren is right. It's. um. It, it, there's Atlanta and then there's everything outside of Atlanta. You know, um, yeah. all my friends there, family and everybody were t- just talking about how crime has spiked a lot. Because a lot of people who ain't from Atlanta have moved to Atlanta yeah. and they've kind of kicked up the crime rate a bit. Mm-hmm. They're having a problem now that they never used to have with car break-ins. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And Josh, I was just, uh, we were we lived like at Ninth and Juniper. And there was a shooting at that Taco Paco place right there on uh, Piedmont, uh, you know, right there at 10th and uh, Piedmont. Mm-hmm. And everyone's like, what's going on over here? You know, so... It's just, it's crazy. Things have just changed a lot. Man, so, yeah. let me tell yeah. you, there's a shooting every week at Lenox Mall in Atlanta. I heard that. Yeah. I heard it used to be nice the high-end mall. This is such yeah. a nice area. Mm. And when Fips I tell too, you, when I tell you them white folks is motherfucking mad, child, because them niggas done came in and they shooting security guards in the chest at point. Yes. You go into Lenox Mall, they start shooting when I was in there with my babies one day in the store. Whoa. The same story. Like I'm over here looking at shoes. You know what I'm saying? My kids was walking around with her friends. Next thing you know, bow. Yeah. SWAT team coming in there, dug down mm-hmm. like this. We we under. The scariest thing for me was not being able to find my daughter and her friend. Right. Right. When it happened, but I I said I, I only go to the mall 
on Mondays between 10 and 2 in the morning. But, but, no, but <laughs> uh, seriously, honestly, that's why I become an online shopper because I don't feel safe in any you know, malls because where, where can you go if people you start can't, shooting? You can't, can't go anywhere. Yeah. Look, You're you stuck. can't even fly. Girl, don't go to sleep on that plane. That one goes to sleep. I don't go to I, sleep anymore. I do too. It's a long flight though. For I know, but I, I, I think I people, I people, people are under so much pressure right now. And then you get on these confined spaces. Look, they just arrested Listen, the black flight attendant let, for acting a fool. And let me tell you something. Attendant. Somebody get to acting stupid on a plane, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> I box five days a week. I'm taking your ass the motherfuck down, okay? Yeah. And mm-hmm. I'm going to turn your ass in. You fuck with me in that air, we got a problem. Mm-hmm. Look. Yeah. <laughs> Tasha, yeah, back to Tasha. Uh, with, with that one, I'm 100% with you. Yeah. What we're not going to do on this plane is you're not taking this plane down with you're me on. Not. It's just not happening. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm totally with you on that. That's, and I that's fly unacceptable a lot. Behavior. I fly yeah. a lot. So I ain't never seen nothing stupid on no plane. I hope but I I'm telling you, if I do, I'm, I'm one of those people. That I, you need to sit down. <laughs> You, I'm going to count to three. No, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, I'm dropping these bags on your ass. Listen. You Absolutely. Know, down. I want to bring Jan in, uh, Lauren. Okay. So Jan can talk to us uh, because she's a huge fan of Tasha. Uh, Jan is one of our regular correspondents and she's very... We got come on, correspondents. Bobby Thank you, Nick. And Thank you. Yes. And yeah, come on with it, Jan. Hey, Wino Gang, hey, how y'all doing gang? over there? All right, how you doing? Don't we look like Tasha? twins? Hi, Jen. We black mama, how white mama. How are you? Fantastic, mama. I love your hair. Thank you, I'm glad to see you there sitting with the queens and yes. and, 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 wow. and Nick as well. <laughs> little, little old Ashy knee me. Look at me. Stop I mean, it. She on her pretty, she looked lemony and le- yellow. No, and it, lemony. It, it, it might have been Little old me several years ago, but it's big time Tasha now. Oh, ooh, 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 hold on, hold on, that part. <laughs> Let me put on my three dollar shades. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. You wear well, okay. baby. You wear oh, thank well. You, thank you. Yes. Thank you. That's okay. Look, I love your interview style. I thought it was a home run <laughs> with with a uh, flame. You almost sneak into a different side, which I like which I like, do you, mm-hmm. you've already got your following, you've got your base, you've done great. So c- I congratulate you. Thank I really, you. really do. I really do. Now, my one of my personal favorites was, and I'm messy, the Kevin Hunter oh. interview. Oh. I, I know. Hmm. But, you, but you went there when you had him on the phone. I did. Then you say, tell, look, Kevin, I said hi. I was like, well, I'll be there. Mm-hmm. And I mean, he was familiar with mm-hmm. you. So, yeah. So, you know, and it's not about his story more than how you handled the story. No, he's just a sloppy nigga. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, that's between you him and his God. But you don't shit where you what eat. You Which one is that? Yeah. Kevin Hudson, Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams' husband, husband. ex-husband. Uh, right. Yeah. Look, oh, how you yeah. doing? Look, how you doing? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, uh, that's who your fan base wanted to see, and you gave them. Good commentary. I thought it was an excellent interview. And, uh, you know, I'm not here to judge him. That's mm-hmm. between him and his God. But it was a good interview. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thank you. That was so crazy. Because, I listen, I did not expect any of that. Because, like I said, I do not prepare mm-hmm. for my interviews. I just want to get to know the person. Mm-hmm. And so I know the subject, of course. So I can gauge you that way. And yeah. I follow you. But when he was saying that he had just took a shit and... Yeah. Kevin Hunter mm-hmm. demanded that he wanted some ass and he gave yeah. him the shitty ass. Yeah. Look. Yeah. And the wife mm-hmm. was sitting Look, there I'm eating clutching, all my I'm clutching my pearls. Pearls. And I was hungry. Hygiene. Mm. You know what? Again, you know, you, you couldn't control him. No. You were there to do an interview. And I was taken, you were poised, straight face. It was just I I've never been a fan of his, but you did deliver. I enjoyed it. Thank I mean, you. it was raw, and he gave you what he thought was going uh, to keep Kevin, him relevant. Yeah, Kevin Ta- Hunter is different. Let me ask you a question, Tasha. How do you feel about that? When celebrities break up and they do it so publicly, like so, you, not 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 mm-hmm. with no ashes on fire, but you and your husband, you are so that you are a celebrity, Tasha. And mm-hmm. if you and your right. husband were ever to break up, and and it, and it got a little feisty, 
Do you think that it's fair that they go to the internet to blast each other? Or do you think that they should settle it privately? And I'm, I'm not like that. See, um, I would never blast my husband publicly because that's, that's that's my kid's dad. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And they on the internet and they got to watch it. But he would blast my ass, though. <laughs> he, he would do, do you it. you think so? What? You don't know Shaq. Shaq will be like, let me tell you about this bitch. Hold on. But African men, African <laughs> man, don't give me that. African shit. man give me a little standoff. You bitch. fuck over. Look at Simon. Simon blasted the fuck out of his his wife. They ain't even his ex-wife. Yeah. They get petty. He will get petty because he'll feel like, oh, I'm, I'm losing my family. This is my, you know, this is my wife and stuff. And so I'm going to definitely let everybody know it's not me. I think it plays out in favor of the men more if they be very low key and quiet as opposed He's to. He's low key and quiet, but he will show you. Because real look, look at the difference between Jeff Bezos, who divorced his wife, he just gave her the money, his business flourished, and then look at, let's say, for instance, Steve Harvey. Just yeah. messy right. and woo woo. You know what I mean? Yeah, they met. Right. Long, I'm going to tell you something. This is most black men, though. I love my black men. Don't get me wrong. But when it's time, it's time to yeah. break up. They don't fuck with you like that. No. They no. won't get petty. They won't pay yeah. the bills. They won't, you know what I'm saying? Because you giving somebody else some money. I ain't taking care of the house mortgage no more. Mm -hmm. Well, your kids in here, tell that nigga you fucking to do it. Mm -hmm. Well, is yeah. it just black men, though? Because look at what's happening with Gary Owens and well, his Gary wife. Well, Gary think he black. Oh, but, so Gary is don't, off with Gary don't count. <laughs> there, there, there are the white men that swear they was born white, but they black, and that's him. Right. Prince Harry is yeah. talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know what, Lauren? That, that sounds more like Kenya than Gary that's tripping. Okay. No, I, King King is very, very... She's been taking a lot of shit for a long time. Mm -hmm. Gary been tricking off with that money for a minute. All right? He like holes, holes. I'm about to drop an audio right now with some holes that he done picked up in Nashville. Fuck them both. You know what I'm saying? Fuck now, them wait a minute, Tasha. Time. I'm not saying we ever know the true story. Right. I'm just saying putting it in the, in the public. He went on Wendy Williams and then Kenya wrote this long rebuttal and on and on. And if you don't want your business out there, I personally would not want my business. Mm -mm. I've been more often victimized by an ex-husband than putting my business out there. But he was you know black. What? He was black. He put your business out there. I told you they get paid each other. No, no. I mean, it's nothing new. <laughs> they get motherfucking paid. Gary, Gary Ormus Gary got, Gary <laughs> got that swag, baby. He got the black girl magic tamer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, no, something I don't like know. that. I don't but know Gar Kenya. Gary is a very well-known trick, allegedly. So if you see her. I ain't mad at you, Gary, because it ain't no, tricking ain't if you got it. Gary, Gary, <laughs> call me. He can get this. I mean, can he, he loves a black him? woman. Was he, they say he loves to eat the snatch job. Oh, well, Gary, you don't, you know don't want to see my snatch. Gary, Allegedly. you don't want to see my snatch. My yeah. snatch is long. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, when, when it's over, it's over. Yeah. You know, he can, he can get this, but, you know, still, as far as putting it out there, I'm not. Yeah. Especially I, I, when the price for, tag is a lot more greater than, you know. Now, I, I got to get you both sides of it, and I'm going to be very honest, okay? So here we go. Here, here it goes. Um, do I like when families take to the internet and blast each other? I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't. But I wouldn't have a business if they didn't. <laughs> right. You understand? So it's kind of like, and a lot of times I don't even follow it. I have to follow mm -hmm. it when it's time for me to do commentary and I do the back work on it. Yeah. Or my team mm -hmm. does it and gives it to me and I just kind of throw my spin on it. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to be honest with you, I won't be able to eat if the motherfuckers ain't cussing each other out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you ain't never got to worry about that. It's going to, like you it's said, gonna always there's something. going to yeah. always be something. It's going to, it's be, going to always be something. But I, I got, you know, I, listen, I got, I got bills to pay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> TT Jan, you know, we got to ask you too. Well, how do you feel about the black agenda versus the gay agenda? Because TT Jan is a fruit fly as well. We all fruit I, flies I, in here, yeah. but I got to hear I your thoughts. Come on. Fly, but I think, again, it's two separate agendas yeah. because no matter what, before your sex was determined, you were going to be black. Mm. Mm. Okay. Before you knew your sexual orientation, mm -hmm. you were black. Mm -hmm. So it's two separate issues. And again, it's almost like what we've often talked about, how the Dems just love everybody. But then it seems like we're going crazy because we're, we're our agenda is never set. And right. that's why, because we let everybody in, which is fine. To answer your question, it's two separate 
agendas. It's not about civil rights. It's not about Black Lives mm -hmm. Matter. It's two separate agendas. Well, when it's and time to march, we all need to fucking march together. And and stop yes. all this yes. infighting. Sure. You're damn right. Now, I'm with you on that one, Todd. For sure. Stop all this For infighting. Sure. Right. But I'm what about gay? That. That's why Black Lives Matter, to me, just did not catapult like I thought it should have. Because we started coming in with, what about this kind of Lives Matter? What about that kind of Lives Matter? Right. Where were y'all at before we started the whole right. Black Lives Matter right. after George Floyd? Y'all wasn't saying right. these Lives Matter like that then. Y'all were saying it. And we not, need our credit. Black folks start marching first. We need our mother fucking crazy. I ain't marching. Everybody I'm follow you, behind no us. You mm -hmm. see the people over there in the Middle East bombing their own fucking town, taking their governments out. They got that shit from us. Mm -hmm. Okay? Well, well, we need to, we need, look, look, we need to remember that, where we started. The black shit. people said, fuck it, we can do it too. <laughs> they just done took it too far. They gonna kill their president in the, in the middle of the street. Now, we don't do that yeah. now. We <laughs> no. But at the rate we're going, the, the extremists will do that. It's two separate topics. It's a lot of topics mm -hmm. when we march. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But more commonly, you'll see socially conscious people supporting one another. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. not like, okay, you know what? I'm not a lesbian, so I, I'm going to support the agenda that treats everybody fairly. No matter what. Listen, I didn't go to Pride this year, but I, I normally I, I'm a freaking of Pride. Uh, yeah. Now I be down there. The the, the guys have their tops or bottom stickers mm -hmm. on. I'm telling you, they just be. I was, you know, I be down there. I be having my little tables out because I usually be with the Buddha Center, like SGI. And so, um, oh, poor connection. Okay, sorry about that. I want. Okay. I want to ask you too before you get to some sidetrack. Wait, hold on, Flame. We got to clarify. What is a fruit fly? Everybody in the comments. Oh, like asking. a fly on the wall. No, no, a fruit no, no, fly no. Is oh. A woman who is very gay friendly. Who's yes, very, very gay friendly. Very friendly. Very, oh, that's me. Very, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's why we're all fruit flies. That's, that's why we say that. Yes. Yeah. I want to ask you, how has stardom? affected your children how has your career your, mm -hmm. your name oh, affected your children? oh man my daughter it she doesn't like it yeah because mm -hmm. when we're out doing mommy daughter time people recognize yeah. me you know they come over they talk and some of them don't know when to stop talking and oh. um i talk but she you know when she goes to school nobody knows that you know i'm her mom mm -hmm. if they ask her like mm -hmm. who's your mom she's his aunt or somebody you know, <laughs> come on like, if this career day, her dad goes, I don't go because, you know, I just want her to have that privacy yeah. and that yeah. independence growing up on her right. own and stuff like that. So that's why I don't really put her out there. Yeah. Now, Lamine, when he get older, he may get off on this shit because he be trying to fuck your daughters. He'll be out there like... <laughs> that's a two-year-old. Yes. Well, he's born into it. He is off the chain. See, he's kind of born into it. Because right. Has, yeah, so yeah. he's going to be used right. to it. She, yes. was, she had to right. get used. I had that here. I had, they had to get used to it. Yeah. And I, I get blowback. Not oh, that you can spend all the money, oh, but you, they you want more time. You spend more time with yeah. your fans that, that, than you do your own kids. Oh, give yeah. me back them Louis Vuitton shoes you just bought. It's the, Every time I want to talk to you, you on Love Lounge. You, you on Coffee Yeah, tag. you on the phone. Like... I'm here. I'm like, I'm paying rent. You better knock yeah, it off. And they here. only want to talk right. when you're working. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. You better say it for They only want to talk when you work. I'm like, come up, answer my phone. Flame Mesh, y'all hear that? Listen, right. I, I had it, it went dead. Don't worry about it. Uh huh. We got one in here. Okay, yeah. Lord, um, I got one here. Triple, can you uh, grab my yeah. charger? Yeah, it button. is ridiculous. <laughs> they do that. Tasha. I know that my is live so ended, funny. so they came to yours. Oh, great. That's funny, Thank Tasha, you. because just what you said, they only wait until you are right. live or you're working before they just hit you and challenge you with everything. And, she, and you be like, uh, dude, I'm on live. And she be sitting there like, looking at my mouth like, <laughs> <laughs> learning, studying. I'm like, don't do it. <laughs> what you, I'm nothing, nothing. And she goes but, back and tells her friend everything I done said. So but I to their suggest. credit, they know that's a weak time for you. I so know. I would approach you during that time, too. Oh my God. I'd be like, can I get the car keys? That, she get me like that all the time. Yeah. yeah. I'll take her phone from her, and she'll be standing there looking at my face the entire time. I'm like, get your phone out the drawer. That don't work. They got backup phones. <laughs> Look, she did phone. have one. I found that shit. Yeah, they have she backup had a, phones. She had a burner phone. She did. Yeah. With the internet on That's order. called resourceful. She yeah. resourceful. Yeah. Oh, oh, like no, it. that's cool. A fucking teenager. No, you gotta respect that. You gotta respect that. She's resourceful. She probably no, learned yeah. it from you. Listen, I was. I, I, I bought my own house phone when my mama took the house phone out because you know we all had jacks in our room. Mm. She took the phone right. out my room. I had one that I had bought from the dollar store. See, you know what I'm saying? I would plug it up and then she fucking pick up that phone. Bitch, I know you ain't on this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that bitch real quick. 
I had the phone. She's like, where the phone? I don't know what you're talking about. So Tasha, <laughs> with, your, with you having such a large platform in Georgia, because we got mm-hmm. the primaries coming up in 2022. Oh, what y'all going to do, y'all gonna do to push this? Let's talk about Kasim Reed. We got Reed. Stacey Abrams. What you talking no, about? No, it's I, no, no, no. I we have Stacey. Kasim Reed. Have Reed. Uh-huh. How do you feel about it? Say that again. Kasim Reed, the, your, your for mayor. Because um, y'all, y'all done ran bottoms up I really up wanted Lisa Lance back in office again. Mm-hmm. I, I liked her tenacity. Ooh. I liked her resilience. For her to, you know, go up against the governor and say, fuck you. And then, you know, it was funny watching them, them two Kemp ain't shit other. anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But one thing I do Ooh. like about Kemp, though. Kemp is a gangster. He ain't let us lose no money during COVID. That's because he was pocketing it all he could. Shit. Yeah, he just gave y'all what was left over. That motherfucker came out with no mask on. Talking about, I didn't know that you can catch COVID. Like, and, oh, right, and he lived right down the street right. from the CDC. Hey, right. That was so, oof. I got right. it special. Like, listen, listen. Special. But um, I don't know. I have to kind of see, you know, I'll what he's that. about. You know, I mean, I've done my research, and it's not really very much out there. Um, And so it's just, you know, I'm just going to have to wait and tell. But I well, think when least, I- uh, uh, um. Keisha Lance Keisha, Bottoms, yeah. I said Keisha Lance Bottoms. We knew what you meant. It's okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, Keisha, she brought, she brought soul back to Atlanta. She, yeah. You know, I liked how she used the celebrities to yeah. kind of rally because, you know, it is a black city was there and they're lot. trying to mm-hmm. not make it that. You know, living in Decatur now used to be the spot you can go. You can't find a property less than $600,000. In Decatur? Oh, girl, that's my money. <laughs> <laughs> we both what? did that in, in Decatur. In Decatur, yeah. Where you got to go now to the Gwinnett? I, I live in Gwinnett. Oh, I, yeah, I live in. Lawrence and you got now. five thousand square foot house. Yep. Jesus Christ! For a mere three hundred and seventy thousand dollars, sure did. Yep. And guess what? The property value done went up. That bitch worth six ninety nine now. Well, I have, have to say, <laughs> listen, I don't blame you. Girl, you a mess. I love that. I went into that motherfucker. I said, I'll take. They was like, Tasha, why don't you buy? I'll take it. It take a long time to sell a million dollar house. Yeah, it does. I want my fucking money. Well, y'all got million dollar condos now. They didn't exist when I lived yeah, there. Yeah, like JB told me he paid forty five hundred dollars in rent in Atlanta. <laughs> That's the Where biggest the joke I've ever heard. In Atlanta, are you staying there paying five thousand dollars rent? My mortgage is two thousand dollars. Well, y'all got million dollar condos. They didn't exist ten years ago. Because so. do you know who did that to the city? Who? Tyler Perry. Thank you, James. Oh well. Yeah. I, uh, Tyler Perry okay. did that to the city. Uh, uh, bro, you know what? And, and, on and, 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 and on, in his defense, because you know I am a Tyler Perry now fanatic. He got a lot of people jobs, though. So they can't afford lot. to live there. Well, if they work <laughs> for him, they can. She just, just got to work a lot. lot. Because he put his studio on the south side. Yeah. See what I'm saying? He did. You ride past Tyler Perry's studio, you won't even know it's in the hood. That, it's in the fucking hood. You yeah. won't even know that. Yeah. But living in Atlanta, they shooting the Hunger Games and shit out there. This shit is like LA. Like our our homeless population is about to go up. Cause I'm telling you, I, I when I first moved to Atlanta, I had an apartment for three hundred dollars. Okay, two bedroom, two bath with a washer and dryer. Three hundred. Three hundred fucking dollars in Marietta. Absolutely. That shit is ridiculous. Now you can't get a one bedroom for twelve hundred. Well, I had a fourteen hundred square foot loft, and my rent was fifteen sixty. In where? In Atlanta. I lived in Midtown. When did you graduate? Uh, 2017. They did that because they were trying to push the LGBTQ out of the city. And a lot, you'll find in Midtown, mm. there was a lot of homeless LGBTQ down yeah. there. Mid- Midtown was that definitely was, was where it was like the neighborhood that's, for sure. That's their part. And they only wanted okay. a certain type. Okay, mm. let me, in defense of the LGBT homeless, we don't be homeless. Because we live 56 in a house, which were ro- like roaches. We all up in like there. The baby. Everybody, we like live up in the house together. <laughs> like, baby, it's a house mother and then all the kids. Now, sometimes the house mother be trying to screw the kids. Let me yes. just be real. Or the, or the house daddy. But we'll, let, we'll take in about 25 or 30, real talk. Because no, we are making, we create our own family so mm. many times. <laughs> So we have, yeah, whether, yeah. No, but, but you got to do that, though. Well, you do. You but And I that. wish we could be like yeah. the Asians and the Mexicans because they'll okay. live 10 in a house and everybody will work in one year and say, okay, this is your year. We're going to give you the money to start yeah. your business. I do love and that. that yeah. We don't do that My as a My friend is Colombian, and every year, uh, every seven years, because she's a seven, she gets all of the money that they save that they put into. Mm. Wow. They call it their, I forgot what they call it. Somebody Colombian on here let me know, but... Every seven years, she's probably getting about three hundred thousand dollars from her family. They take care of each other like that. 
I said, if we did that, what a concept. Like, I can't even, Child, please, I can't I can't even get nobody give me $2 for gas. <laughs> <laughs> they be like, bitch, your, get, your car too big. Shit. You know, I'm out of, baby. I don't want anybody in my house. I can't let anybody right. in my house. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's why your mama, uh, she can stay like a day or two, yeah. but then she got to go home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's how we are. What was your experience going to Spelman, though? Oh, I loved it. Really? Apps, number one HBCU. We are. I, I, I would it. love my daughter to go there. She wants to go to Howard, though. But I got accepted to Howard, too, though. I think as long as your kid goes to a historically black college, yeah. it's okay. I got it's one okay. of those. Yeah. But Spelman, there's no place like Spelman. I just, I have yeah. to say, Spelman has a special place in my heart, my, always and forever. My best friend's just, daughter, congratulations. She's just got accepted to Spelman. It was a big deal. They're and it's hard party. to get into Spelman now. Yeah. Them GPAs is like 4.0 is the, the average. She's going to be a doctor. So she's going Spelman to got trainees there now, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, please let me go to college. We do. We do. Let, let and that's, that's a whole big issue. I'm going to be an old tranny up in Spelman. <laughs> a lot of my Spelman women. <laughs> so it's a whole big issue. And Morehouse is starting to accept trans men now, too. Yeah. So it's, yeah. 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 Uh, Morehouse oh, has a so trans educated. Man I feel stupid. Let me just, Morehouse gonna have a pregnant trans man running through there. Let me just be honest, because trans man likes it, and yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. But I got, I do gotta say this though, though in the face of JBs, that was a pretty motherfucker though. Oh, she's 19. She oh, should she be pretty. Was she's pretty. pretty. She is pretty. She was lovely. I on said, your show. God damn, what is your skincare routine? She right. looked, but you know, here's the thing. Here's the irony of most trans girls. Yeah. We look just like our mom. She yeah. looks just like just her mom. Like her mom. Mm-hmm. She looks. We most. We all mostly look because that is the first woman that we fall in love with and fall out of love with. Well, I mm-hmm. wish I could say that for Lynette. <laughs> 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 this damn. <laughs> Kenna, we went out. Uh, this damn uh, Tasha is a mess. Oh my what God. time is it? It's 12, uh, 2.23. Oh, we got seven minutes. We're going to okay. close this we out. Sure do. We gotta, Bobby, I got to cook for this lady. Oh, I know you do. I can't wait. Listen. I'm getting y'all, out of grand, though. You, get this me. Ain't, this ain't you, you cook, cook for me, I'll be at your house all the time. Mr. about to show up. Wait you see this other look. Ooh. I can't that wait. That wig comes off pretty quick. Oh, not even gonna lie. I cannot <laughs> wait. I feel so honored. I do have to ask you, though. What do you feel has been the best interview that you've done? Oh, man. There's so many. Yeah. Um, or your favorite. Whichever you prefer. My favorite interview. I would have to say, wow, there's so many. Um, okay, then give us a top three. Or four. Four is my good luck number. So okay. give us a top four. So Avion Foster. Okay. That was the the, boy, the man that came on to say that he held a, you know, relationship with Wendy's husband. Um, let me see. Melody Holt was a nice interview. Because we, this was our second one. The first one didn't make it out because I wasn't gonna put it out. Oh. Because I was like, I know you didn't come on my show. Like I'm top. Look, no, 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 no shade. But I'm the top motherfucking gossip blogger out here. Okay. <laughs> and no shade to Dr. Heavenly, but she's a reality star and a dentist. Mm-hmm. How you give her more, more wine, more tea? So I was like, I'm not fucking putting it out. And she came back and she and we did it and we we chuckled like we was girlfriends. Yeah. That's what is good to me. When it's yeah. so when it's so easy, it just gels. Yeah. Yes. My interview that I did with um Gina Wynn, uh Diddy's uh uh girlfriend that mm-hmm. he abused, she spilled so much wine on Diddy. Said that Diddy used to keep like a fanny pack and it was full of like pills and stuff in there and he would get so high and, and you know, when he came down, you know, and all this is a legend of course, um, he would beat her ass. He kicked the baby out of her stomach. Oh wow. Yeah. P. Diddy. Was, he did it. The yeah. same one who told us to hold our vote? He did. The oh, same Lord. one that's dead, silent, quiet right now and ain't saying shit mm-hmm. about the black agenda or voting? Mm-hmm. Okay, nigga, say this quiet come November. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's in case you watch. Listen, Diddy is all fuck. Like, how you gonna come out and try to tell a, a network to pay their people when you ain't paying none of these motherfuckers that work for you? I saw that Your one of his artists career. came out and said something about his masters and how Diddy Not wouldn't the, give it to him. No, because that's how he makes his money. Yeah. He, if, if, if Diddy sold the masters, his money wouldn't, he wouldn't have no money coming in. Mm. Yeah, that's very interesting. Mm. Yeah. It's, a, mm. it's just, it, 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 this, it's very disheartening. That's the word I was trying to say. It's very disheartening when I hear about men abusing women, especially men with so much power and stature and money. The, the sad part is a lot of times they get away with it because the women feel like they don't have anybody to go and tell and talk yeah. to because of the, that celebrity status. 
Yeah. So mm-hmm. that she came to a safe space to talk to you to yeah. tell you exactly what happened. Yeah. That is that's good because and that's, my platform is always open to yeah. any woman who has suffered abuse. Because I was let me start. I was beating Tosh. He beat me. Mm, my friend LB from the back or from the front. Definitely from the front. Huh? <laughs> If you put your hands on me, it's going to be hell to pay, goddamn. Listen. I got an HJ somewhere. If you don't know what an but HJ you know what? is. I watch, my mom, I watch my mom get beat, you know. Sometimes, you know, she asks for it. But, you know, I I don't believe in women stepping to men. And, and, and I seen her put a, you know, one of them big ass old school heavy irons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll never forget this story. My um, Because I know we got to go. My I came home from school. He, her boyfriend at the time had uh, picked us up. We was walking. He was like, all right, I'll take y'all home. My friend, uh, Kesey, shout out to Kesey. She watches this. Left her earring in the car. And so I come home. My mom is in there cutting up his furniture. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? She's, she got the earring in her hand. Uh-huh. She was already in a rage, right? And I was just like, oh, well, let me just mind my business. She got a fucking knife to the damn couches and shit. And he's sitting up in there. And she just beating him on his back. And so he wasn't flinching. So she went in there and grabbed the big, heavy ass iron, the old school ones, and came in there and slapped that motherfucker in his back right there. You heard bow. I was like, oh shit, mom. So, mama, uh, that's Kesey earring. She fucking threw. I thought she was gonna come and beat my ass. What was, what was the boyfriend's name? Rob. Rob had the fire, good old, good old baby. Because <laughs> women ain't gonna fight no man like that if he thinks she's cheating on. If it ain't fire, understand me. Rob was hitting your mama with Thor's hammer, baby. And that's why it was like that. He provided a very good lifestyle. He gave her more than that good lifestyle. He, he gave us like a good we, old, good You old know, old we was in the hood, you yeah. know. Maybe it was a thing because my great-grandmother did something similar. She grabbed the big black uh, teapot mm-hmm. and hit my great-grandfather the great-grandfather over the head with the teapot. Let's just be honest. Oh, well, no, yeah, they broke up, got divorced, got back together. I don't want no dick together. like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want no dick like that. <laughs> I don't want it. You can keep it. <laughs> I don't want to be like that. I don't. Oh, oh, that's a wonderful Cause thing. Because I'm like, if she had to hit him in the head, <laughs> that's he would have died. Wonderful oh, he would have little... died. But he had back problems ever since that day from it. I would imagine. Lifetime, that's like, the heavy he, iron. She don't yeah. care if the back didn't work. She just needed that front to work. Yeah. But <laughs> ask, her, listen, ask her if she remember that shit, though. No, I don't remember that. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, it know, didn't happen. You know mothers you have wasn't selective there. memory. They have selective memory. I was like, what memory. the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. You don't remember taking that iron? And so I, I grew up seeing that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, oh. you know, nobody, no man has ever put his hands on me for that the, fact. The husband, your husband, African, I'm a side. <laughs> don't cheat on her because you know she learned from the best Listen, I'm just saying I'm hide the iron shit hide the iron okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, listen I learned the game see when motherfucker fuck up ignore their ass right. they come around that mm-hmm. ignore her like, oh this bitch don't don't Mm-mm. silence speaks silence a thousand volumes them. so they expect you to act crazy and Oh, I'm going out by my business. Even though I'm burning up in a month, I'm burning up inside. That's okay. what the boxing's for, though, right? Five times a week. Yeah. Okay. I box. Girl, you box five times a week. I box. I box, That's I box how I've been three days a week. Got them weight off. I've shit. been boxing too, three days a week. Oh. How, how, small, how, small, how small are you trying to get? Well, I want. How old she girl. wants to feel? You just had a baby. At, that, two years ago. Oh, well, girl, your, your star rise. When your star rise, the checks get bigger and the steaks get bigger. <laughs> no. See, it's the steaks because you don't eat pork, so it's no. the steaks. Too long. Too long. <laughs> it's that goddamn tequila. Shit, that's what it is. Well, we are officially at time. Okay. I have Listen, to tell you. I just want to tell you, thank you so much for coming on. Bring Nick back on, for coming on and joining us, Tasha. And no, so you're my very you first guys. guest. I feel very honored. And I thank you for having uh, us having a good interview because, baby, so many flame and so many people are like, why Tasha K going to do this? I was like, no, nah, she's not going to do that. She's going to be fun. Why y'all be speaking for me and y'all don't fucking know me? <laughs> <laughs> Like, what if I said girl. you was going to do that ice? I don't know you. All you know is what I let you see. That's, <laughs> see, that's my motto. All you know is what I let you see. I put my dress down so y'all can't see it. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, I ain't oh. walk out with that dress and them hips. I said, I got to go buy me some fucking hips. Girl, yeah. I got yeah. this for BBT. I, I got my little walk challenge today. No hips. I- just how baby took that last okay. baby took no, it's it's okay. just how stomach. No, it's okay. Ain't no man gonna, I told you, ain't no man gonna never ask you for no stomach. 
They gonna ask you about Listen, things. they don't give because they hold that shit. Like they'll put their hands on it and hold it while they beating you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, we don't worry. We have an early love lounge tonight because Tasha hanging out with us until six, so we gonna <laughs> we gonna do love lounge early after we cooking and eating and drinking because I got her some Snoop White. Oh, she told happy anniversary to Snoop Dogg. Tasha yes, happy anniversary to Snoop Dogg. That it was and his it's anniversary. Like, yes. How Black, long? Black love. I mean, I think it's been like twenty six years. It's, it's wow. been a long time. It's yeah. been a long time. For sure. on yeah. and See, that's a woman that wasn't married to a man, to a cheating man, to a man that liked to snort coke off women's chest. She was married to a destiny. You got to hang in there. No, that was a woman who <laughs> said, nigga, do what you got to do because this paper she ain't going nowhere. Check. I'll never forget. I'll never forget when she did an interview. They asked her, about, what are the perks of being married to Snoop Dogg? She said, my own white range. Oh. <laughs> I said, oh, okay. She I'm, might worry about where he I've said it that hit. too, though. Marriage is great, but that's also a business contract. Yeah. The love thing comes secondary. Does yeah. it make sense business wise to get married? I'm yeah. so sorry. If Man. it doesn't make sense, you're not doing it. I'm, I'm celebrating 15 years on July 8th. July 10th. July 10th. I said July 8th. We're going out of town on the 8th, but that's July right before 10th. my birthday. Okay. I'm going to be 28. Okay. Mm-hmm. Don't say shit. Oh, come I'm on, 28. 28. Okay. The titties is okay. older than that okay. shit. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where Nick is, so we're going to oh. close out the Nick show. Nick left? I, I sent a request. He left me? No, he, no, no, he didn't leave. He might be having technical difficulties. Okay. It's okay. No, it's thank okay. you. I'm so Tasha, honored. Tasha, so where, 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 where can I... Well, shit, everybody already know, but we want to get you over that million. Because you close to that million on yeah. YouTube. We yeah. need to get yeah. Tasha K there. Y'all need to subscribe that baby, to her That YouTube baby channel. slowed my ass down, so... It's yeah, okay. So. You're back. Woo, I'm getting with back. Avengers. Mm-hmm. So y'all can follow um, Tasha K where? Tasha Unwind K. with Tasha K Unwind. on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, your man's email. Ooh. She talking Everywhere. shit. She talking Everywhere. She talking shit. Kunta Kinte going to jack her ass up. She don't knock it off. Listen, he found out yesterday. He was like, you smoking weed? I'm like, yeah. He was like, but you get horny when you smoke weed. Who the fuck you smoking weed around? I'm like, I'm in the room. Ain't nobody here. He waiting on you to get home. He be waiting on exactly. you. You get home tonight, right? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, I'm a star. Give us free. She's Tomorrow. coming I'm home. Star. <laughs> he said I'm a star. Please follow my partner. He is this Mandingo friend. for real. He Ooh. really is. Don't tell nobody. The Mandi- Don't tell, yeah. He's from the Mandingo tribe. Don't tell these women. They that. know. These women ain't got shits. Oh, okay. So I like old confident See? bitches. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to come with it if you want to. What's and he's like, Tasha ain't got no hip. She got that short hair. Bitch, that's all I need. <laughs> Y'all be doing too much. That's the problem. <laughs> you doing too much. We're going to talk about that on Love Now. It's called, we're, the show today going to be called Doing Too Much. <laughs> okay. She got damn much. Only thing I put on fake is my eyelashes. Well, I look, I can't say that now. I got a whole bunch of shit that might fall off when I get naked, you know, but Stop it just it. it just falls low. It don't fall off. It just falls real low. When I take the titties and the balls, it's like next door neighbors now, baby. When I take these bra off, the titties and the balls, bar on, can I borrow a cup of sugar? <laughs> <laughs> Please follow my partner, Nick Smith News, on all social media platforms under Aww. Nick Smith News. And Lauren Hogan, where are you? I am Lauren Armani H on Instagram as well as Lauren Hogan on YouTube. And you know where to follow Big Mom at. That would be me. Flame on. At Monroe Flame on Instagram. Marcus Flame Monroe Parker. Thank you, Mark Zuckerberg, for putting, make a bitch put a whole real name on there. On Facebook right. and on YouTube, we're Flame Monroe. Do not follow my Twitter page. It's full of porn. Yes. No, it really well, is. On purpose, not even on purpose. Just if you go and follow somebody, and I follow some people, they get watch porn. I do. Some. I watch all. porn. You get caught up on Twitter. <laughs> I be telling people, listen. Twitter is. Mm. Twitter is. Cool. I don't call a couple of people that you know that say they only straight, but mm. really they trade. Uh, oh, what Uh-oh. you know about trade, Tasha? Oh, what you know oh, about trade? Lord. Look at. Oh, we gonna get that door to Love Lounge. Please love join lounge. us tonight for Love Lounge. <laughs> we doing Love Lounge about four thirty right here. Like we gonna play cards and drink wine and talk shit and be finished with barbecue. Thank you to my producer Triple. Thank you to our cameraman Kendall. Um, where we going? September. Uh, where we going? DC. We coming. We yes. come. We gonna do laugh and learn live in DC with all the flame So y'all come on out. Thank you, Tasha K, for joining us. Please follow Thank Tasha you. K. Unwind with Tasha K. This was a great yes. Interview. Thank you, my baby. Thank you, this Thank was you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us. Catch us y'all on Love Lounge. Y'all sound like light skin people. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all. <Ooh. laughs>
<laughs> this thing is a mess. Come on, like, where they get that shit from? Like, how do how, how do you say that? People think they know you, right? Yeah. That's why. That's exactly why. Here at Love Lounge, what is our motto, Lauren? It's laugh and learn. Oh, shit. You know what it is. <laughs> What's our motto, Lauren? We are not trying to get anybody to change your mind. We are simply trying to get you to what flame? Use your mind. And because why? You have to have one because some of you bitches is slow. And I'm just letting you know, <laughs> I don't do dumb. I do a whole lot of things, but dumb ain't one of them. And and you, use your ass if you need to pay your bills. Right. And, and Father's Day is Sunday. I'm doing a drag show in Palm Springs. Sunday's for Father. I'm going to have my cash up. Don't play with me. Thank you guys so much for Yes. Joining us. Have a, I'll see you guys at about 4 30, 4, between 4 30 and 5 for Love Lounge with Tasha. I'm going to have a whole rib in my mouth. Okay. Oh, she ain't going to eat You ain't no pork. Laugh and Learn is a production of the Black Effect Network and iHeartRadio. Our executive producer is Tiffany Haddish. The show is produced by Tribble. Our theme music is by Chrissy Payne. 